Fact or fiction? True or false? Are urban legends real? What's the deal with those things? I'm here at the home of Steve Bennett, who holds a PhD in urban legendology. I'm gonna go inside and interview him and just find out what's going on with urban legends. Join me inside. Steve, can you tell us what exactly is an urban legend? Well, Matt, an urban legend is a tale of contemporary folklore that lies beneath the surface of civilization. It's believed to be true and is designed to elicit an emotional response from the audience. You also had mentioned earlier that there aren't as many urban legends as there used to be. Could you tell us about that? Yes, as a matter of fact, you know, Southern California and Encinitas in particular used to be crawling with urban legends. You know, strange stories were spreading like wildfire. However, in the past 20 years, there's been a steep decline in the reporting and the documentation of those urban legends. Why do you think that is? Well, unfortunately, there's not many people like me who are in the profession of urban legends. Hmm, you're right, there probably aren't. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I had never heard of an urban legendologist before. Mm -hmm. Yep, there we're few and far between. And, uh, you know, the only reason I can think of that would be is because people just don't think it's important, which, of course, is absurd. You have recently been featured all over the news. Talk to us about what you've been doing to raise awareness of this issue. Well, Matt, I have been asking people around North County to submit their own videos of urban legends in this area. We know they're out there. We just haven't heard of them yet. If no one has ever heard about it, can it qualify as an urban legend? Uh, well, possibly. So for the people listening to this interview, what are the ingredients that they need to include when documenting an urban legend? Oh, excellent question. I'm glad you asked. Every urban legend contains three of the following five ingredients. One, somebody finds something. Two, something breaks. Three, some kind of skeptic for a slow motion shot and five a banana. A banana? Yes, a banana. Well, th thank you so much for your time, Steve. Hopefully students will be motivated to go out and record an urban legend. You're welcome, Matt. And remember, sometimes truth is stranger than fiction.